Hi, uh, Jonathan here at Colfax Math. Um, this channel is Math and Math Applications. Today I'm going to go over calculating board feet. It's from this book right here. I'll put a link to that in the description below. It's a fantastic book, really to dial in your math skills, especially for the trades. And those math skills are the same no matter what trade it is. This one's going to be a little specific to carpentry and construction, but the skills are the same for electrician, plumber, um, just about anybody. Okay, in here right now, I'm going over chapter 11, calculating board feet. And it's, it's not too hard. You do need a calculator because some of the numbers get kind of big. First, a board foot is defined as a board of lumber that is 12 inches by 12 inches by one inch deep. So it's actually a volume measurement. So one single board foot is 12 by 12 by one, one deep. Um, so 12 times 12 is 144. So one board foot is 144 cubic inches. The cubic inches comes from the fact that you're multiplying inches by inches by inches. So it's a volume measurement, even though a lot of times it seems like a linear measurement. So the best way to calculate board feet is to take the length in inches, multiply it by the width in inches, times the thickness in inches, and that'll be your total number of cubic inches, the volume of the board, and then you divide that by 144, and that'll give you board feet. So general pricing for lumber is really anywhere between $2 uh, and maybe $10, $20 a board foot. You know, beautiful burl, walnut burls for fine woodworking or gun stocks could sell up to $100, $200 a board foot. And then inexpensive pine might even be as low as $1 a board foot. Even if you're selling logs to the mill, they still buy it by the board foot and they sell it by the board foot. Okay, so that's basically the overall idea on calculating board feet. Um, there's another equation that might be a little bit easier if you're working with the length in feet. Um, another equation right here, board feet is equal to the thickness in inches times the width in inches times the length in feet divided by 12. So if say you have a two by six, 10 feet long, so units are key here. I have two inches by six inches by 10 feet long. I take that number and I divide it by 12 and that'll give me my board feet. So a two by six is 12 times 10 is 120 divided by 12 is 10. So two by six, 10 feet long is 10 board feet. And that kind of makes sense because a two by six is only six inches wide, but two inches thick. So one linear board foot is the equivalent of a, wait, one linear foot of the board is equivalent to one board foot. A two by four, uh, it'd be different. All right, I'm gonna put the camera over my shoulder and do a few problems. Again, let me just reiterate how you find board feet. It's a volume measurement. First thing you wanna do is calculate the volume of your board in inches and then divide that by 144. Another way to do it, maybe a little easier, is take the thickness and the width in inches, multiply it by the length in feet, and divide by 12. Um, one other thing I'll say as well about calculating board feet is they always round up when they're selling you the lumber. So if you buy 13 16 hardwood for a cabinet shop, they figure that as an inch thick. Um, Two by six is only you know one and a half by five and a half, but they still calculate the board feet by two inches by six inches. So some lumber yards sell lumber by the linear foot or by the board foot. Board foot is the most common in both a lumber yard and a hardwood store. So let's go over to my desk and we'll do a few problems. So here's a beautiful piece of mahogany here. Um, and if we want to calculate the board foot, this is from a hardwood store um, for cabinets. First thing you do is you check your overall thickness and it looks like it's about 13 sixteenths. You can see that right there. I'm gonna burn it in. So it's 13 sixteenths. I'm gonna round that up to one. This is just seven in width and the overall length is 21. So the way I calculate the board feet out of that is I go um, one inch of thickness times the overall width seven inches 
times the length of 21 inches, and I divide that by 144, and that'll give me my total board feet. So I'll use a calculator for that. So this is hardwood, um, which I, I, it's probably easier because it's not a linear measurement in feet. The linear measurements in inches already, and that's why I'm dividing by 144. So I got one times seven times 21 divided by 144, and it's 1.02, or just about one board foot. So this is one board foot. In mahogany, is usually about seven dollars a board foot so this is the equivalent of about seven bucks okay if on the other hand I'm using construction lumber and I have a two by four I use the other formula for this one so let's say I have a two by four so two inches by four inches even though it's one and a half by three and a half it still gets rounded up to the full dimension um, and let's say this is a 16 so and it's 16 feet long now I'm going to do the board foot equation, um, thickness times width times length, and the length is going to be in feet. If the length is in feet, now I divide by 12. So the board feet here is going to be the 2 inches by 4 inches by 16 feet. And now I'm going to divide by 12. I'll do that again on my calculator. I'll go 2 times 4 times 16 feet equals divided by 12 and I'll get 10.7 board feet or 11 board feet. So this works out to be about 10.7 board feet. So this equation is probably easier if you're in a cabinet shop working with hardwoods. Um, keep everything, in, convert everything into inches and divide by 144. And this equation right here is probably easier if you're on the construction site buying framing lumbers, which is thickness times width in inches times the length in feet and divide by 12. Okay, let me do some more problems. Um, let me get rid of this mahogany here, beautiful as it is. And again, I'm in this mathematics for carpentry and the construction trade, second edition. There's a new edition out, the third edition, and it does have some improvements. This is a great book kind of hone a lot of your math skills. Right now, what I'm working on is chapter 11, board measurement, and then chapter 12 is pricing. So in chapter 11 here, um, board measurement, here's some of the problems right here. So here's some of the review exercises. I want to do all of them. I'll just do a few of these. So, number one, the most commonly used framing lumbers are 2x4, 2x6s, 2x8s, and 2x10s, and 2x12. For each of these sizes, calculate the number of board feet in one linear foot of material. So, 2x4, and we're going to use a second equation because we're talking about framing lumber. So, this is 2 inches by 4 inches by 1 foot. So, that equation is going to be thickness times width times length in feet divided by 12. So a two by four one foot long is gonna be two times four times one foot divided by 12 is gonna be equal to 0.67 board feet. Then I'll do the next one, a two by six by one foot long inches divided by 12 will be one board foot. A two by eight inches inches times one foot divided by 12 will be 16 divided by 12 or 1.3 board feet. Kind of get the idea there. So one linear foot of a two by eight is 1.3 board feet. I'll do, I'll do the 2 by 10 as well. 2 by 10 by 1 foot long divided by 12 will be 20 divided by 12 which is 
board feet. So a linear foot of 2 by 10 is equal to 1.67 board feet. Okay, and down on number two, I didn't do all of them, but I'll just get some of these for figuring a couple of these out so you get the idea of what we're doing here. Use your results from exercise one to calculate the board feet in the following. 120 pieces, so this is gonna be problem 2A. I have 120 boards, eight foot long two by fours. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to multiply it 120 pieces times the eight foot length and there are two by fours I'm going to go up here to my measurement of two by fours so one linear foot is 0.67 board feet to 0.67 board feet so how many total board feet is 120 pieces eight foot long at 0.67 board feet per foot. So I'm going to take that 120, multiply by eight, multiply by the 0.67, and I get a total of 643 board feet. Uh, maybe, doesn't say what kind of wood it is, probably dug fir, which is the standard framing lumber. So that dug fir probably $1.50 board foot, so you get, you know, you're, you're talking about close to 900 bucks or more. All right, let me jump down to number four here. How many linear feet of one by eight boards are needed? So I'm looking for a linear foot of one by eight of subfloor that's 26 feet by 42 feet. So it's 26 feet by 42 feet and the boards are one by eight, so it's one inch thick. So I could figure out the total square footage of this area, right? So I'm gonna do that by going 26 feet times 42 feet. So 26 times 42 is 1092. So this subfloor is 1,092 square feet. However, it's one inch thick so it's also 1092 board feet. Because it's one inch thick, the total area is 1092 board feet. And then I need one by eight. So I'm gonna use my formula, length times thickness times width divided by 12 equals board feet. All right, this length is in feet. This thickness is in inches, this width is in inches. I, you know, multiplication is commutative, so the order of operations doesn't matter if you do L times T times W or W times T times L. So I have this dimension. No, I don't. This is the dimension I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for. I have the thickness, it's one. The width is eight. I have the board feet is 1092. So there's only one thing I need and that's length. And that's what it's asking me to find. So I'm going to keep length as L times the thickness of one inch times the width of the board, eight inches, divided by 12 is going to equal my board feet, which we said was 1,092 board feet. I got one equation, one variable L. I'm going to solve for that. I'm going to get rid of that 12 by multiplying both sides by 12. That'll cancel with that. And then I take 1092 times 12. So I take 1092 times 12, and that's equal to 13,104. And over here, I have one times eight times L. So I have L times one times eight. Getting L by itself, I'm gonna divide both sides by eight. Those, that'll cancel with that, that just times one. So the length of one by eight I'm gonna need is that number 13104 divided by eight, or 1638 linear feet. So if I'm buying the materials for this job right here, how many linear feet of one by eights? Well, I'm gonna need 1,638 linear feet. 
All right, well, hopefully this is a good start to get you started on calculating board feet and linear feet and going back and forth between the two. This is all from the book, Math for Carpentry and Construction Trades. Um, hopefully this will help you out. And if you like the video, hit like. I'd love to hear your comments below. And uh, if you have any questions, post them in the comment section. I'll get back to you. And if you want more videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe key. So thank you for watching.